application brings transformation application brings transformation when we apply what the word of God teaches about our finances about our job we experience transformation in our life it was Dave Ramsey who said that 80% of financial success is behavior 20% is knowledge it's very good to read books it's very good to go to seminars it's very good to hear lessons and messages on tithing but I'm going to tell you one thing listening to it and never putting it to practice will never change anything in your life you have to begin to apply the things that you hear sometimes it's better to hear less and apply more than to hear more and apply nothing so what are the things that we apply as Christians and you already heard word tithe you're like what a tithe 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 word tithe is 10. that means that as Christians we tithe as well, why do we tithe because we put God first now if you don't tithe you end up tipping tipping and tithing is a little bit different you usually tip after you eat the meal based on how good the waiter was to you right you don't tithe based on that what you do with tithing is that you give to God before you get the meal because he's already provided the meal and you're trusting him to bless the rest with tipping you always tip whatever you want a dollar or two with tithing we give specific percentage and we keep that consistent with tipping you give to a waiter with tithing you give to a creator can somebody say amen and a lot of people what they do to church when they come to church and, and I know a lot of people do that they come in and they just kind of throw a dollar throw a five like oh I have extra and so and they treat God as a waiter and then you no know, amazing no interesting that God treats them back like a waiter don't treat God like a waiter treat him like your creator honor him do you have to tie to go to heaven no but if you want to prosper you want to honor God in your life as a Christian you have to be a person who tithes you don't have to just like God doesn't have to bless you financially to get you to heaven he can get you to heaven just by barely getting you through but we want his blessing salvation is free but we want to see God's blessing we begin to live by God's standards and God's blessings amen the second thing we learn about uh, after we tithe is that we go into offering. Now offering is anything you give above 10%. Many times people will say in our church things like, you know, I bumped my tithe to 20%. It's actually not correct because tithe is 10, not 20. So you can't say I'm tithing 20%. You can only tithe 10%. What we really mean is that I've increased my giving to 20%. But you can't say I've increased my tithe to 20%. Anything above 10% is an offering that we offer to the Lord. And you, some of you may be listening like what in the world? How in the world anybody would want to come to church and give 10%? That's already like a killer. And then anything above that consistently, just hold on. Let me give you something more. There's the thing called sacrifice. Or you bumped it to 15 to 20 percent and there are leaders here sitting in this room who give 40 percent every single week every single month and you will not even think that you know and God is blessing their life and God is changing their life but one thing that we challenge as Christians is that once a year once in two years as the Lord leads you and as the Lord prosper you that you begin to make sacrifices to God for some people it's things with money some things with possessions for some people it's the things that you love the things that are precious but that you begin to make sacrifices to God these are valuable and you will begin to see a change in your life. Do you have to do that? No, you get to do that. Amen.